Hello, it's Terry Britton here. I'm going to do a few quick videos on this uh, wonderful piece of free software that's open source called Open Broadcaster Software, or OBS for short. So let's jump right into this, uh, this portion of the video, which is on installing it. All right, so uh, we'll go to Google and type in OBS. OBS is sufficient. And up comes the Open Broadcaster software at the top. When you get here, if you've got a 32-bit machine, just click the download link, and it'll uh, bring up an installer for 32-bit version. However, if you've got a 64-bit version, you might want to take advantage of the fact that uh, there is a 64-bit version available. It'll run a little bit smoother on a large machine. And we are talking video here, so there's a lot of data being moved around. So click on this link right here that says Binaries. And it will download a zip file for you. Let's open up that zip file. I've got a WinZip here. And you see you get the 64-bit version and the 32-bit version of the program. So let's go ahead and open up the Program Files folder. I'll go to uh, my computer and open up my drive. Now if you're putting in the 60, the 32-bit version, you would put it into the x86 version of program files, but we're putting, we're going to put in the 64-bit version for this demo. And so double-click program files that you're in there, and just drag your 64-bit into there, and it will extract it. You could also uh, do this as an extraction, but I find that it works better uh, without any complaining on the part of Windows if you do that drag-and-drop thing. Now we'll want to change its name from 64-bit to OBS. I've already got one called OBS in here, though. So I'll call this OBS 64. And then go inside the folder and right-click on the OBS.exe, the executable, and pin it to your taskbar or to your start menu or to both if you want. And, uh, and now you've got the program where you can start it starter up and uh, so let's see I don't want to duplicate of my of that software in my folder so but that's how you get it installed and uh, into your taskbar or start menu okay as you see I've got it in both locations okay so that's it I'll keep this video short because I want to be able to just cover one thing at a time and that way I only have to update one portion of the video at a time. So meet me back to see how I add scenes and sources to OBS and set up some basic settings for my audio, for my microphone, and things like that. Okay, be right back. Check out video number two.